Today is kind of getting worse and worse. We had to get a refrigerated truck to store the bodies of patients who are dying. We are right now scrambling to try to get a few additional ventilators or even CPAP machines. If we could get CPAP machines, we could free up ventilators for patients who need them. You gonna kill me now, Snake? I'm too tired. Maybe later. I've got another deal for you. I want you to think it over while you're resting. I want to give you a job. We'd make one hell of a team, Snake. The one great city of New York becomes the one maximum security prison for the entire country. A 50-foot containment wall is erected along the New Jersey shoreline, across the Harlem River, and down along the Brooklyn shoreline completely surrounds Manhattan Island. All bridges and waterways are mined. The United States police force, like an army, is encamped around the island. There are no guards inside the prison, only prisoners and the worlds they have made. The rules are simple. Once you go in, you don't come out. Can't breathe. But guess what? It's too bad. You will never breathe if you don't pay attention to what I'm about to say. Uh, their vitals would be taken, and then a provider would come in and determine if the patient needed to have a test. It's been crazy. Like people are going outside, they fighting over tissue. People are spitting and licking all over the food and. Got these videos that's online showing people doing things that they should never ever do. This is very serious. But at the same time, we survived. Now, I know people don't like hearing though that they have to be inside. No one wants to hear though that uh, they have a curfew. parents we, we, we are we feel that we're bosses we're the boss of ourselves you know I tell me what to do well maybe the big boss the boss is higher than all of us including the government is talking to you it's like hey listen it's time to rest it's time to slow down it's time to take a step back and really look deeper Maybe this is the exercise. Maybe this is the workout. Maybe it's 10% physical and 10% verbal, but it's 80% So you're probably like, what do he mean by it's 10% physical and 10% verbal and 80% mental? It's been a while since we actually had a chance to reset again. I'm not saying, oh, yeah, you gotta reset because, uh, you know, Scientific fact of this and that and this or yeah man you have to be conscious and this and no I'm not talking about that type of set. I mean kind of but not really I'm talking about 
changing I passed, shit. Right? I changing. have me. Come on, changing habits. That's what some people are saying. You know, it would have been easy for me to go. All right, cool. Let me record something on a product that I have that's here. Or yeah, let me show people what I'm doing as far as working. Now, no, this is the workout. This is the exercise. You get what I'm saying? There's this no other exercise here today. It's just me and you, and we talk one-on-one. -on -one. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. First topic. So a while back, uh, I had a friend, and uh, we used to chill, we used to talk a lot. One of the things, you know, he would talk to me about is uh, little people problems. So do you like oh, little people problems? What is that? Well, in case you don't know, little people have problems too. They go through things too. And when you get older, you tend to forget so dad, you're not the only one problems. I guess it might be time for you to sit back with your kid if you have kids. This might not apply to you. But if you have kids, <laughs> play the game with them. Just sit down with them, chat, talk to them. Figure out what's wrong. If there's even anything wrong, you'd be surprised. When you connect them with your kids and you're having fun, they start telling you things and you start listening, you start hearing Stuff that they never said before because no. we were caught up in this thing called life. No, okay. and we got bills and we got pressure and we got deadlines, we got no, things to meet. Please don't go. So do they. And when they get older, you got a daughter, <laughs> the boy phase coming, you got a son, the girl phase coming, mm -hmm. puberty with them. <laughs> So all types of things that's taking place. Wow. Sit down and start getting to know them and the things that they love to do. And you start doing those things and you start realizing more and more and more. And you start changing the chipset, resetting more. And so I say, holy snap, oh, let me ask this. Now, I don't know about anybody else, but my kids, they, they don't go to school where I live. You know, from my borough, they don't go to school out here. My kids go to school in the city. You know, it's a reason for that. It's a reason for the madness. And to be honest with you, I don't see my kids all the time. We probably see each other out of 24 hours, three to four hours the most. And one of them hours is spent driving them yes. to the city. And the other two hours is basically me getting home, cooking dinner, they eat, and that's it. You know, they're ready to go to bed. Go take their shower, they bath, they go to bed. If you have kids and you're too caught up in work and you're doing all that, you know, or life didn't give you a break, well, here you go. This is life kicking you right in the tail, telling you this is your break. Start getting to know your kids. Because you know what? When you get an older wrinkle, those are gonna be the only momos that's gonna be there and have your back. You hear me? But that all depends on how you treat them now, what you do with them now. So be fun dad, be fun mom. Doesn't mean buy them everything. Because money don't buy love. Take the time to get to know your kids. So therefore, you know the problems that they go through. And you know what's actually happening within their lives. Give me the power. Mike, beg of you. Learn a thing or two from them. That's real talk. Second topic. You wanna kill Luda? You wanna kill my family? You might have been too busy with work. You might have been too busy uh, trying to catch up on everything else, life. 
And you gotta just walk past each other. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, hey, what's going on? All right. Mm -hmm. What's for dinner? Yeah. Same robotic mechanics, day to day life. Wake up, use the bathroom, eat, leave out for work. You get to work. I don't care what the calendar says. Buy coffee, same old coffee. Go to the same old table with the same old desk. Okay. Do your eight hours, get out, go home, eat, you go to sleep. And next morning, you repeat the cycle over and over and over again. Well, you didn't have the time before. Guess who has the time now? You do. Now, that don't just apply to you, that applies to me too. Bro and sis, like, just be honest. Get to know your spouse, get to know each other, start digging deep within, and uh, try, to, try, to, try to find ways to try to connect again, dude. Figure out where y'all going. Is there even a road map to where y'all gonna be at in the next year or two or five? Is it even a year or two or five? Do y'all still have that? Start digging deep. Start reflecting. Start really looking at that picture because uh, tomorrow's not promised. And any day it can be yours. Meaning you can be gone. Especially with what's going on today. You know, go get and set people up. Right. Makes you really think about how precious air is and yeah. how precious life is. And to appreciate those things, if you have it. And by all means, not everybody's married. This might not apply to you. Maybe you just have a, a relationship you're in. Or maybe you got multiple partners. I don't know what's going on in your life. But what I will say is, communication is important. We all need to practice communication. It should be something that we practice every day. Because, uh, not gonna lie, not everybody's great communicators. Me, personally, I'm great with communicating with people. However, there's times when I'm not great with communicating with people. All depending on who it is, because everyone is different. And if everyone is different, then that means you're gonna experience people with different lights, good and bad. But it's your job to be prepared for it, no matter what it is. So yeah, no matter what you do, experience everything right now with your love. So try your hardest to get to know that person, even if they don't feel like at the moment trying to talk to you. Just make it your job to try to talk to them once in a loop, you know, throughout the day. Or find them. They want to be borrowed today, check them tomorrow. They want to be borrowed that day, then check the following day after. And if it, through this whole process, if it, uh, things going that way, then you know what you need to do. You know where you at. But it is your job to make sure you and that person sees eye to eye and come to an agreement somehow. Because uh, love is real. And it sucks if you die alone. I'm missing you already. Learn your partner. It's that simple. It's too late! I've spent too much time in this body! I'm fucking trapped in here! What the hell? Andy, run! Topic number three. Learn thyself. And what do I mean by that? Start Reflecting on yourself. Start reflecting on those things that's within your life. Things that you like, things you don't like. Things that you want to improve, things that you don't want to improve, but you wind up improving them anyway. Just look at every corner and every section within your life. Like if you were on paper and you were nothing but code or words on a paper, space yourself out. Space everything out. And really say, yo, is this who I am? 
Is this really what I want? Is this who I am? Am I really me? What's really going on? You know, because some of us, sometimes we have goals that we always want to reach, but we never get a chance to reach them because we're so busy and caught up in life, in the world. Not every day everybody gets to work out with self. You know what I'm saying? Not everybody gets a chance to actually produce self. And when you produce self, then that means you could remix self. That means you could take yourself to a higher level than where you at now. By all means, dude. Look, this is me. I'm, I'm not hiding nothing. This is me. Do you see all this? This is your boy Coop. I'm still working on self. I'm telling you, get out there and work on self. Do whatever you need to do for self. Dude, I didn't. I didn't lost close to 45 pounds, 30 something pounds. I'm not, I'm not even gonna lie to you, and I'm still going. The boy came from 325, now I am 285.4 or 86.4, something like that. And still dropping in this areas on my physical body that I want to improve. But in order to improve that, I have to improve me. And therefore, I have to go to the trunk board and see what I'm doing right and what I'm doing wrong. I'm just getting started. <laughs> the past three days, I've been doing an extreme fast for myself. Like, I only eat one meal, and I'm fasting from the morning time all the way until like 8 o'clock p.m. And I get one meal. Probably one of the hardest things that I had did in a while. But you know what? I'm going to be honest with you. I'm working on it. And working on it means that I'm exercising. That's the exercise. That is the exercise. So maybe you have to improve in a different area. For example, and this is a little different, but I'm gonna talk about it anyway. And that's because I just recently rewatched a TED talk and it was about like pornography and stuff like that. Maybe that's something you have to reflect on. Cut that shit out your life, bro. Cut that shit out your life. First off, it weakens your sexuality. Secondly, there's human trafficking going on. Cut it out. Completely cut it out. I said, what's your problem? How are you today, sir? Okay, how's it going? Fine, thank you. Thank you, sir. Here you are, sir. Maybe thank you. you don't know how to cook. I don't know. I cook my ass off. Fucking gourmet chef. You know, I just, shit. A brother could throw down. There's some brothers and some sisters that I'm not a throw down. I ain't talking about color. I'm talking about brothers and sisters. I mean females and men. And men and females. We, some don't know how to cook. Well, guess what? You gotta get out there and you gotta learn how to cook. You can't cook if you're never home to cook. But now you're home. You have all the time in the world. So guess what? Get off your ass if you're trying to be rich. That's what Tupac said. Get off your ass if you're trying to just cook. Go out there and learn how to cook. It's easy. You got YouTube everywhere. And not only just that, you're home and you gotta do food shopping. Your favorite restaurant might not be open. COVID-19, baby. Just a walk in the park. How do we know they're coming? They're coming. Ready? Maybe 
You realize though that your vocabulary is not where you want it to be at. Maybe you curse too much. Shit. I know all about it. You just heard me say shit. Well, guess what? Maybe you should start reading books. Pick up on new words. Start rephr rephrasing those curses with other words. Because some people could curse you out without even cursing, without even using profanity. Even though it's not as much as like it's just a word. It is just a word. But words hold power. You have to get the words you use because they sting, they cut, and once they come out, you can't take them back. You can't. It's nearly impossible. And even though people may forgive you, they'll never forget. So be careful what you say now. Hurry up! first video, I said though that it was going to be a winner. This is, dude, it's now I consider him to be a brother. And it's because he took the time to actually talk to me and get to know me. So, yo, Troy, good looking. I think his last name is um, Baroli. Troy Baroli. Uh, I hope I'm saying it right. Anyway. Point is, you're a winner, bro. And, dude, you know how to reach me. You got me on the gram. We've been talking, we've been communicating. I love that. I love that. It doesn't matter where he's at or what he's doing, even if it's just five five minutes of his day, dude will hit me up. Just, hey, what's going on? I hope you and your family is okay. And, same thing with me. I hit him up, hey, what's going on? Yeah, all's well. I know you're a firefighter. Dude, congratulations. You deserve it. So in conclusion, get to know your kids. Because little people have problems. I told you, good friend of mine is talking about absolutely right. You don't know what they don't. Two, talk to your wife or your husband. Talk to your spouse. Know them. Figure out what's really going on. Between you two, love them. You're going to work hard. If you don't love them, set them free. If not, then it's like you got to figure out a solution. Figure out what works for you guys. I believe in you. I believe in her. I believe in him. Do it. Just do it. Make it happen. Whatever the results is, it is what it is. But that's when it comes to three. Know thyself. Self-reflect. Start digging deep. Figure out the things that you don't like about yourself and the things you do like about yourself. You know, because it's a lot of things that's part of you that you probably don't even know that's part of you. It's part of your life that's going on. Start knowing. Start knowing you. Start getting back into in tap with you. Start start saying, yo, that that's that's who I am. I'm not this. This is this is who I am. These thousand year soldiers. <laughs> you gotta be shitting me. You know what I'm saying? Like people are asked out on the job. So now they tell them, like businesses and business owners to go lock up shop even if you have to board it up board it up because uh people might go and start looting for what they need 
Robert, you fat black one-eyed motherfucker! No, Robert, no, you brought these niggas on oh. your oh. step! <laughs> Are you having a bad dream? Shoot, <laughs> bad for y'all. I lived, you died. I lived, and you died. <laughs> like that. Um, people are dying. And it sucks, and it's sad. But this is the exercise. This is what, this is what, what it is. This is the new reality at the moment. This is the exercise. This is the program. We're working on it, and we're working at it. Some harder than others, but we still here. And like I said, we ain't going nowhere. Yeah, you already know it's your boy Project Coop, and uh, I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. I gotta get back to uh, this reality, and trust me, it ain't easy. But you know what? We're making it work. So, I see you dudes next video hopefully we are in a better place with better air and we learn something not just about other people but about yourself we out right. Sleepy! Sleepy!